This is Newsmax TV Money. I'm Greg Brown. We're joined today by legendary investor and commodities expert Jim Rogers, chairman of Rogers Holdings. Jim has taught and written best-selling books on investing. His keen appreciation for commodity investing trends has made him independently wealthy. He continues to actively invest and learn about global markets, insights he generously shares. Welcome, Jim. I'm delighted to be here, Greg. Fed Chief Ben Bernanke just reiterated his pledge to keep rates low for an extended period, which many people take to mean at least until the end of this year. Is the dollar done? Well, I think it's a terrible, terrible mistake what Mr. Bernanke is doing. Uh, he is essentially ruining the U.S. economy in the long run and ruining the U.S. dollar as well. I, I, I cannot fathom what the man has been doing, and it's all of us are going to pay the price. We are paying the price, and we're going to continue to pay the price. The U.S. government will run massive deficits for years to come. For investors, how serious is the inflation risk? Greg, it's not a risk. It's here. It, uh, you, I don't know if you go to the to go shopping, but maybe your butler does your shopping. But the rest of us, we know that prices are going up. Whether it's insurance or entertainment or education or fuel, I mean, the price of everything is going up, and we all know it. Go to the grocery store. Go with your butler next time to the grocery store, and you'll see the prices are going up of everything, and they're going to get worse because Mr. Bernanke and the people in in Washington are spending gigantic amounts of money which we don't have and somebody has to pay for this there's no free lunch considering that inflation how safe is the dollar and what percentage of a person's portfolio should be in cash and dollar denominated investments like stocks well stocks are doing okay and stocks will probably be okay for at least a while because all this money is being flooded into the into the economy and when all this money is flooded into the, to the market, it has to go somewhere, and a lot of it's going into stocks. And that's why stocks have been going up, and why they will probably continue to go up at least for a while. They're going to go into something. So I, I'll have to let everybody make their own decision about how much money they want to put into the stock market. But if you're going to have cash, you ask a very perceptive question, what kind of cash do you own? If you own U.S. dollars, you may find that you're losing money eventually down the road. It so happens that at the moment I own the U.S. dollar. I'm optimistic that the U.S. dollar is okay as a place to be for the short term for some technical reasons. But longer term, the U.S. dollar is a terribly flawed currency. Gold has settled into a range now around $1,100. If the dollar gets crushed, it seems likely that gold investors will prosper. Do you agree? Well, traditionally and throughout history, whenever paper money has been debased, people have put their money into real assets as a way to protect themselves, whether it's gold or zinc or cotton or whatever it happens to be, you put your money into something that will not de decline in value as the currency declines in value, and gold traditionally has been one of those things. You've been right on top of the oil price for a few years running. Gas is topping $3 a gallon already. What's your outlook for oil? As I was saying, there is inflation in, in the land, despite what the people in Washington tell us. Uh, the, the surprise is going to be how high the price of oil stays, Greg, and how high it goes. 